Flossmas. Today is Tea Time Flossmas number 21 because today is Monday, December 21st. Happy Solstice. Uh, it's one of my favorite days of the year. So today is also my dad's birthday. Um, he would have been 77. We did lose him a while ago. I was in my, I was in law school. I was 22 when we lost him. So, um, so it's been, um, going on 20 years um, well more than 20 years that we we lost him but I still like to celebrate the solstice in his honor and um and so I always kind of feel like with his personality and who he was and everything that it was appropriate that his birthday would be today and uh and I'm super excited about the the junction um the Christmas star as they are calling it between Jupiter and Saturn where they can where it's Going to be within like 0 0.1 degrees of in the from the view apart from each other um i have not looked at the weather report for today so i'm hoping we will have clear skies for tonight i know i have some friends who are on the east coast who have said that their their forecast is not looking too good to be able to see it so um being cautiously optimistic that we'll be able to get out to see it and um yeah so so that's my plans for today. Um, I have to do a little bit of work, um, but nothing too strenuous, I don't think. And uh, yesterday we did celebrate my sister-in-law's birthday. So she is also a winter baby and uh, her birthday's on the 17th though. And so, but we had the family celebration last night. And so that was fun. I have, I think a little clip that I may add I usually try to keep my family pretty private because they, they, they didn't ask me part of this, um, but maybe they'll be willing to let me share this silly clip from yesterday. But um, if, it, if I am able to add it, it'll be at the at the end. And, uh, and so I've also been having some problems getting my video to upload for the, I, for the tea time yesterday. Uh, so that didn't get added. Probably will get added today, but I'm gonna try to figure out what I can do um, because I recorded my phone and my phone uploads it to my cloud storage just from there that I make my videos. Um, Samsung for some odd reason has set it up so that way I can't connect my phone directly to my computer and do a file transfer, which I used to be able to do, but there was like an update that stopped that. I haven't checked in a while, so maybe it's time to check. Anyways, enough about that. That's my, I think that's my life update. I don't think there's anything else going on. Favorite thing, let's talk about a favorite thing. I find those Yule log videos hilarious. I think they're so funny. And um, I'm, when we are in my house, when we were at home, sometimes I do put them on just to kind of get them kind of crackling in the background. And um, it's so, there's on Disney Plus, there's an Arendelle one, which, you know, it's just, it, it's a regular Yule log. But I'm going to share a link below for stars men in kilts so for those of you who may be fans of outlander which if you're not a fan of outlander where have you been go watch it go read it um i was a, i am a fan of the books um read the book the first books when i was in high school so um so this has been a lifelong commitment to claire and jamie it seems like um but uh, but the show is very good i find it to be well done and true to the books and um and the spirit of them but anyways to the stars um the um jamie but man who plays jamie sam something and i can't remember the name of the other person but they did a show on stars which i have not watched and it's called men in kilts and um and they're traveling throughout scotland i think is what they're doing and i'm really excited to to see it because i have a i, I love i've only spent few days total right I went on a cruise through Scotland and then when I studied when I was in London I went to Scotland a couple of times but probably in total maybe 10 days I spent in Scotland but when I'm there when I was there I felt like my heart belonged there but um, you know I, in my ancestry I have Scottish descent and and so um, so maybe maybe I am maybe it is home to me although more of my family came from England and Wales but anyways but um they have they did a yule log video um, which i will link below so be sure you check it out it's an hour long and most of it is a regular yule log video 
and it's a beautiful video and it's crackling and you feel like you can feel the heat off the fire but there are little snippets in there the men in kilts and it's um and it's really quite lovely um so um go check out some new log videos do you have some favorites that i should go check out uh, let me know all right uh, so I will again try to upload a tea video this afternoon. <laughs> Maybe I should try to record the tea earlier in the day. Um, the last two teas have been nighttime teas and that might have been my problem. Maybe I'll have a caffeine tea today and I'll be like, nope, gotta have it at 1 p.m. Otherwise <laughs> I won't fall asleep. Not that it matters, I'm on vacation, right? So stitching. So as we, yesterday was day two on Barbara Anna's. Christmas tree and um, you know again we were kind of celebrating so I did not anticipate to be spend the whole day stitching but I did get quite a bit done I'm not taking it out of the Q snap so you're just gonna have to trust me so I did finish the full tree branch so it goes all the way up to the top all the way up to the bottom I know that there was a point in time where I think it was Aaron from two martini stitches who um, express some concern about whether or not the fabric was big enough. It is plenty big enough, um, but know that you're only going to have about two inches of a border um, from the top and the bottom. The border on the side, I've only gone to the left of the pattern and it looks like it's about a two inch border. I'm assuming it's going to be the same on the end. Um, my recommendation would be to measure your center um, and do a center start as opposed to starting from the top or the bottom or from a corner or whatever, right? I, I recommend a center start for the Christmas tree pattern. So anyway, so I got all the way down. I did get all the way to the, I did mark the edge of the fabric and now I'm going to just start moving from the bottom up motif by motif. That's just going to be how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to add the rows. Has, and I did that on purpose to be able to do for counting purposes. Um, to be able to know where I was. But So just so that's going to be the, the goal. If I'm really lucky to get a lot of stitching in today. I may. Um, try, my goal is to try to finish this whole branch. But that's a lot of stitching. That's a lot of focus. Sorry my sister-in-law just arrived. So they're outside my door having a conversation. Anyways. I also did want to show you, if you can just indulge me for a minute while I fold up my fabric and did this, to show you how the sew tights work. So I mentioned that I, in a previous, uh, oop, sorry about that. I don't know how abrupt, we'll see how the editing goes, how abrupt that was. Anyways, I got a phone call that I had to take. But what I was saying was that um, I am, um, I wanted to show you because I talked about buying those so tight magnets that were for quilters and I wanted to show you how I had been using it so of course you can see I still have my little scroll rod I mean my um my bobbin savers and my thread savers that I use um in general so I use that at the top and, and so that you can kind of see you know the way I folded it over but here is my so tight and how it works and, um, and this is it on the back on how it looks there. So just to kind of show you that I did fold the fabric over a couple of times um, and it's, you know, it's holding it everything. Uh, whereas these, you know, they, they move around a little bit so I'm constantly adjusting them to make sure that they stay up. But, um, but I wanted to show that um, obviously you have to have enough to be able to fold it over and be able to cover whatever you need to do and be able to still get to stitching. So I did have to remove it to be able to work on those trees and things like that. But, um, so yeah, so I wanted to show that to y'all. All right. Um, so I think with that, um, that's it. I hope everyone is having a good day. Um, hopefully there's some additional tea videos after this. Um, if not, so sorry. <laughs> um, we're just doing the best we can, right? Um, go check out those Yuletide videos and, um, Otherwise, wherever you are, I hope you're having a stitchy good time. Happy solstice. Let's celebrate the return of the light. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. I've lost two. Real quick tea video. Today's tea is peppermint. So it's a caffeine-free mint leaves offer natural refreshment and spiritual lift. Oh, my goodness. And today's mug is this sweet little Santa Claus is coming to town. This is an excellent peppermint tea. It's a perfect after dinner tea. No need to sweeten it or anything.
All right. Thanks, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, plus two. Tea time. So it's two o'clock p.m. Today's tea is a chestnut tea because it is a black tea that's caffeinated. I'm definitely drinking it earlier in the day. And the description is a black tea, sunflower petals, and chestnut flavor. I don't think I've ever had a chestnut, so I have no idea if I like it or not. Let's see. Hmm. When I opened it, it had a very caramely smell, and I think... I don't think that's what it is, but it has a bit similar. So, not bad. Uh, probably a little sweeter than I probably would like, which is weird because you know I like sweet tea, but I guess it is seasonal. All right, y'all. I'm about to put together my uh, cross-stitch planner. See you in a bit.